the truth about biodigester chemical hi this is dream house biodigesters giving homeowners that need a peace of mind when it comes to wastewater management issue if you are new here subscribe for more videos like this one so i get a lot of questions both on facebook on my instagram page and right here on youtube about biodigester chemicals and how those who are constructing biodigesters are looking for chemicals that will aid in their work right and then all that they said is that they needed this they wanted the biodigester chemicals for solid waste decomposition in this video i'm going to tell you the truth about biodigester chemicals and their use in biodigester construction the most important question is is there a chemical for biodigester toilets yes it's called bioenzyme and do you need one for a biodigester installation i will say no and i'm going to tell you in this video why you might not need one so stay with me let me illustrate this with a story when i was growing up i was living in a compound house with my mom then in a single room and then in front of the house was this big septic tank right so occasionally I mean, I don't remember the exact time, but every three or four or five months, a tanker will be called to come to help dislodge or remove the, the solid waste with the water, the water solubles, and then take it away. I remember the landlord always fighting with the tenants for money to do this service. Obviously, if you remember or if you do live in some of these houses, you will know that when it comes to septic tank dislodging, you need the tenant to pay up. Just like how they pay for electricity and water bills so that it can be done one day one tenant suggested the chemical that could evaporate the solid waste and the water in the septic tank and that if they are able to get such a chemical all these monies they are paying for this lodging will not be needed you should have seen the relief and joy on the faces of our landlord and then the tenants in the house that finally there's going to be a solution or something that can be done about the manhole. But back to the story, or back to the issue of biodigester chemicals. When I was doing this research for this topic, I came across some of the products that claim to dissolve and evaporate water in septic tanks. I have no proof of what they do, and whether they truly work but i know they exist i'm sure you might have heard that there's a chemical that evaporates water in toilets but biodigesters also have same chemicals and bioenzymes and they are supposed to aid or uh, in the decomposition of the solid waste i've seen some and i've used some i've used some before but the truth is i cannot vouch for them what I can tell you is when installing a biodigester, ensure that all the protocols are followed. Use the right material and you will achieve the same effect of biodegradation and decomposition. When you consider the biofuel biodigester that I did the research on and I learned of some few years ago, I didn't see any bioenzymes being put in them. All that was needed was the coconut husk, the F worms that were going to break down the waste into solubles that would dissolve into water. When I also learned this biodigester business way back with my first group that we used to work with, Samales Solutions, we did not use any biodigester chemicals. All we needed to do was to make sure that the composition or the microorganisms that were going to aid in the human waste decomposition were in the right place and were there at the right time. The reason why most biodigesters don't work well is because either the installer didn't follow the laid down procedure or are simply not qualified. It's really that simple. Let me give you another example. I had a homeowner call me that he's looking for the biodigester chemical to buy. You want to know why? Because he has an installer in his house who says that the chemical is what they need to complete the work. I can tell you one thing for a fact. This homeowner 
is going to have problems with this biodigester that has been installed in his house. And the reason is simple. Just because he failed to get a qualified constructor for the work. Just like the chemical for septic tanks, the bioenzymes for biodigesters would not solve the problem of excess water in the tank. Like it's written on most of them, they only aid in digestion, which means that you must still follow the right procedure for biodigester installation. Your sloping to the soak hole pit must be right. The soak hole pit itself must be able to soak the wastewater and your decomposition materials must also be to the right amount. Do this and you will not be like the landlord who goes on an elusive mission to find chemicals to suck the water out of his septic tank. This is Dreamhouse by Digesters. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing for videos like this that explains how this biodegradable waste by digesters work. Leave a comment below. What do you think about the biodigester chemicals? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye bye.